It's good, y'all. We are running it back. It is Saturday night. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. And um, tonight we got a special shave. This is a top three scent or was. I've been getting some cool scents in. So as of like a couple weeks ago for like a long time, this is my number three. And this is Dark Fall. This is by l, l Grooming. If you don't recognize that name, it's because it's actually Declaration Grooming. This is their old name. I think this is back in 2017. I think uh, towards the end of that year or 2018, uh, they changed the name because um, they had Declaration Brushworks when Scott was making brushes and he had L and L, L, and L ugh, tongue twist, L and L grooming for the soaps. And he was like, might as well just combine it, make a Declaration grooming. A little history lesson there. For the uh, pre-shave, we'll be using Parasso. Parasso white because I guess I have sensitive skin. I had the full white setup. I had the, the splash. Well, it's more like a bomb. The, that's why I grab it. That's why I never tried the green, Parasso green. I didn't want a splash. I wanted a bomb um, at the time. This is like when I was still a newbie. Um, yeah, I had the cream, I had the Parasso, I had the full setup. That's all you gotta know. But yeah, this, I think this is all I have that's left right now. I think. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, let me, rest, let me uh, wash my hands. Uh, yeah, let me wash my hands real quick. All right. So this scent. Um, yeah, actually I thought I'd go over this because this is actually an upcoming release. He releases Dark Fall in September every year. But uh, due to... Uh, uh, you know, resources, it's pretty hard to get. Materials, not the resources. Materials, uh, it looks like it's not happening in September, but it is happening this year. He releases it on his birthday, like around his birthday every year, because <clears throat> he's like most proud of this scent. Um, this is created by Scott, not Chetillion Lux or anything like that. But um, I feel like I have badger hair in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, this scent. It smells like, it literally smells like uh, a bonfire, dude. All right, yeah, for the brush, we're using my Ever Ready uh, V6 Fancherian, uh, set by JR from Reyes Restorations. Thanks, JR. This is an Ever Ready 200. So we're gonna get to loading. Um, we'll do a quick 30 second load. <clears throat> but yeah, man, it smells like a bonfire with autumn leaves, on like a hot summer night in August, or even sometime as late as October. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, yeah, man, I enjoy the scent. It kind of like brings me back to those, you know, memories, you know, growing up, um, you know, like kind of these summer nights, like uh, whenever you're by a fire, it just, it just brings me back. And I think that's why I like it. It's very smoky. So when it does come out, if you're not into smoky scents, um, I'd take a pass, but yeah, all right, we're at like, what, 30 seconds? All right. Yeah, but hope you guys are doing well. Um, thanks for watching and the support I've been getting. Um, Red Island Shaver commented on my last video. I thought that was really cool. Seems like a cool guy. I'm just, uh, I mean, I already know, like, uh, a lot of the other, like, some of the other YouTubers, but I'm just getting to know you know, some of the other ones, but everyone I've met so far is like cool as hell down to earth. Um, I'll go over the razor in a minute. I just want to get the lather going because I don't want this to drag on. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is a scrubby knot. <clears throat> it's not super scrubby. Um, like uh, JR set it perfectly, look at this. Um, good job JR, look at this. It's literally halfway midpoint. Backbone is perfect. Check out uh, Reyes Restorations. I will post uh, his IG in the description below. So this is actually the Bison Base. And this is, as you guys know, or you might not know until now, 
It's actually one of my favorite bases. Um, it's just a good base. Like I said last time, I would love if you brought a limited release. But, I mean, Milk Steak is good. It's not like... Yeah, I mean, it's whatever. Milk Steak is good. Can't. It's better. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just like it. I just feel like it's easier to build. Then Milk Steak's pretty easy. I don't know. Something about it I just like more. Maybe it's because the soap is not as soft. Something about it. Alright, cool. For the razor, we'll be using um, Ken's Goat. Actually, it might not be his goat anymore. Ooh, that's good. Because um, uh, I saw his title today. I didn't get a chance to watch his video yet. I'll probably watch it later tonight. Um, <clears throat> here we go. Alpha Handle, Alpha Bravo, Carbon, uh, 316L. Uh, 0.68 Gap. Yeah, I. he said new goat. I was like, oh, snap. I'm pretty sure it's the point. Uh, it's the uh, H&S Haircut and Shave 7.6. Nice. So far, this razor is performing wonderfully. And I will tell you what I changed. And as you could probably guess, I'm using top three blade for me that I haven't used in months actually. And that is the Voschot Russian blade, freaking awesome. To me, it's just super smooth and an aggressive feeling razor, AKA blade feely razor. It's perfect. I used to use it with my Rex all the time. Seems to be doing well. Yeah, so I'm not one of these people that like to rinse every two seconds. I'm squeezing that. Like, <laughs> some people like, uh, like, I don't know if you guys seen, um, <laughs> sorry, this just popped in my head. Matt Pasarsic from Razor Emporium. He'll go like this. Rinse. Rinse. <laughs> But I think he does that to show the soap off, because that's what he does, like, impressions. He's a cool dude. I'm not, like, knocking him at all. I'm just saying that I do it differently, that's all. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Just clean it up a bit. What are you guys up to? <clears throat> You guys get any new uh, soaps in? Uh, or like you just, what have you guys been doing? You know, anything new in the community? This soap and razor blade combination is performing wonderfully so far with the grain. Cannot complain. It's definitely underhydrated, but it's still performed well. It was getting stuck, a little bit clogged in the razor. But we will fix that on the second pass. take the water definitely could take the water um <clears throat> so the scent notes in dark fall is agarwood cinnamon amber clove benzoin birch tar and tree moss the most prominent scent for me is the birch tar that's where the smokiness comes from and i get the tree moss I think <laughs> I can see why they're like like it says cinnamon in it I don't smell cinnamon but like after reading it it's like okay I can see how it's in the blend kind of thing you know it's not like it's not like bay rum you smell the bay rum and almost any bay rum you'll smell the you'll smell the uh the cinnamon it's not like that it's in the background but not going off the sense I just feel like it's like uh, burning wood, 
in a bonfire in autumn. Like that's, that's really uh, sums it up for me. Awesome. Second pass, we're gonna go against the green. Yeah, the last two shaves were rough on this, you know, like if I had three bad shaves in a row, it might have been on the chopping block, guys. I don't got much patience, bro. But it's redeeming itself so far. Knock on wood, hopefully no cuts. Ken says, this despite the blade feel that this razor has, it's not <clears throat> that efficient for the blade feel it has. And I respectfully disagree. I feel like it's pretty efficient. I think he said that in the context of comparison to his other razors, like his H&S razors, or his charcoal goods. So I'm not saying, I agree that it's not the most efficient. I feel like it's up there. <clears throat> like it's, it's on the upper side of things. I'll just say that. But yeah, man, this washcloth wash is solid right now. My face finally feels better. <clears throat> I guess it takes me like 48 hours. Um, I did a straight razor shave off camera, like I said, and my face was like banged up. I don't know, like, um, I think more of it, like a lot of it is just mental, breaking out breaking out of the comfort zone. Cause like a lot of us, we know DEs so well, it's like light work for us. You just gotta break that barrier, you know? All right, might as well just do some touch-ups. Back to the other day about APR, man. Like, if I use this razor on APR, I, I, I genuinely feel my skin would be irritated right now. Like, this soap is doing wonders for me. I don't know if it's the carbon with the bleed, a lot of variables. <laughs> but so far, we're having a fantastic shave. Neck is basically BBS. We're just touching up i think uh jr's favorite razor is the carbon as well a lot of people's favorite razor carl carlitos loves it who else loves this razor uh nate burmister sorry if i botched your name from bbs live he loves it millie mel freaking ken man the canabler freaking yeah Corey to buy it Corey uh sold it though his reasons were <clears throat> he liked it but he just liked his other razors more, which is fine. Um, he just likes to keep it down to three razors. All right, I'm starting to buff way too much. Taking advantage of that residual. Yeah, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But yeah, feel pretty good. All right, we don't want to go too crazy. Let me just rinse. Yo, guys. <clears throat> Thank me later. Pick up this freaking handle, dude. It's 30 bucks at Bull Goose. This is better than any... All right, I'm not going to compare it to another handle. But it's phenomenal. Like, the knurling... Like, I'm about to just wet my hands. My hands are soaking wet. Like, bro, this thing is not slipping. I can't say that for, like, the other ton of handles that I have. If you don't like the look, then don't buy it. <laughs> I think it's great. All right, let me uh, get the shave bed out. I would get the straight out, but like, you gotta strop it between each use. So I'll save that, save the fresher edge for when I'm uh, actually shaving with it, like for real. <clears throat> so we're gonna work with this. You ever have something on your mind you're about to say and you just completely forget? It's me right now, because I'm trying to remember what I used last night. Oh, I used Opuntia, okay. 
Yeah, this soap outperformed zero point two. But I, I don't know. I don't want to say it's fair. I don't want to start an argument. It made tallow versus vegan debate. Because you know I have CK6, you know I have Opointia, you know I have Noavia, I have my share of vegans. So I do like it. There's something about tallow, dude. It's, it just hits different. I don't know if you've heard that phrase. But it hits different. It's got that heavier feel on the face. Um, <clears throat> you just feel it like it's got more fats. It's more fatty. Um, like, because... You know, animal fats. Um, it's more comforting on the skin when you have a razor on your face. And then you have, uh, like, Doug had to throw, like, three different butters, or more even, I think, in his soap just to offset the lack of tallow fats. So what does that say? And that guy has been in the game for, like, nine years, Doug. <clears throat> Quite a while. So he kind of knows what he's doing. That's conversation for another day. There was a paladin drop today. It was all freaking beehives. So you can imagine who had fun with that. You guys can speculate. <laughs> um, yeah, I did not. I wasn't a fan of that drop. But someone was, at least. Some people were. Um, nice. Cool, we're good. Um, there was also a Leo item drop today. Um, I was tempted, but I passed. Sorry, David. Maybe I'll get the next one <laughs> or the one after that. Uh, so we'll be going with the matching splash. This is Dark Fall. Again, this one, this is back when he used to put menthol on all his aftershaves and everyone complained and were like, wanted to burn down, uh, Scott's house with pitchforks. So he was like, all right, all right, no more menthol. Oh, wow, way too much came out. Great. Might as well mix some Moon Balm. Yeah, you could, the menthol for me is not overwhelming in this, I use the Moon Balm, in this, uh, this aftershave, because it's, it's got a lot of alcohol to like counteract it. I find that um, Declaration Splashes have a lot of alcohol in it, not as much as PAA but he has the skin food as well. So it's like an interesting balance. Like if you have fine accoutrements, it's like all straight up alcohol and fragrance. And then you have um, PAA and Declaration where they kind of mix skin food. But I'd say Declaration has more skin food, which I like. I don't like that dry feeling. But yeah, guys, we're good. Sorry, I'm just like rubbing my face the whole time. Whenever you guys see me rub my face like 30 times at the end of a video, it just means that I'm like, I'm obsessed with the scent. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, back in overview, this is Dark Fall. Um, it should be coming out this year. You might like it, you might not. I'm probably gonna pick up it in milk steak because I appreciate the bison one that much. Use the Ever Ready 200. Good looks, JR did perform well and the carbon did redeem itself. It was number three, dropped down to like my number five. And now it's back up somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's the video guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.